Arr, mateys, landlubbers, skinks, skanks, and scallywags, climb aboard me pirate ship for the pirate episode of the pirate season of Top Fun Retro Toys 3D YouTube channel. Click like, subscribe, and enjoy the show, because we're going to review some G.I. Joe. But first, a word about the Top Fun Retro Toys 3D Halloween Spooktacular Sale. All right, so being that this was the pirate episode, um, I think it's apropos we discuss some of our G.I. Joe Navy uh, cats here. So we've got the... Uh, we got the Cobra Eel, we've got Torpedo, and of course, our favorite Salty Sea Sailor, Shipwreck. Now, I uh, I debated wearing a stupid pirate hat uh, during the entire episode uh, and talking like a pirate, but that was probably about as painful for me uh, as it was for you. So we'll just split the difference. I'll wear this sort of pirate hat and uh, we'll get down to business. So up to bat first, so up to bat first is a Cobra Eel, highly sought after. Um, this thing was always out of stock on Amazon, ended up overpaying for it on eBay because I wanted one. Um, but we'll take a look at the packaging and then we'll talk about uh, talk about the figure. So as you can see, we've got cool packaging, right? He's uh, coming up on a carrier or submarine. I think the artwork's pretty neat and on the back, it shows you his full accessories. Um, it does that on the front as well. So let's uh, let's get into this thing. And truth be told, I already opened it. So I had to take some pictures, uh, and I wanted to use the uh, the cobra eel on the beach. So let's look and see what's inside. All right. So like I said, he was already out of the box. I couldn't wait. I need to do some photography with the man here, but uh, I guess that's kind of a cool insert on the uh, on the inside I, I guess it's neat um, since Hasbro specifically for the GI Joe line has gone to windowless packaging uh, being a member myself being a member of I don't know, like 10 GI Joe Facebook groups um, there are a lot of people who are opening these things and getting either dried play-doh uh, wrestling action figures basically modern uh, fodder from uh, Marvel Legends series or just some random stuff uh, basically people are opening these things up swapping out the figures and then replacing them with uh, you know, some creative refuse um, all right so the figure by itself really cool very cool his arms are all twisted up here but uh, yeah, he went to the beach, so we had a little sand on him. But uh, the figure by itself, really cool, comes with a dive knife, and uh, hopefully we get a good seawater. Yeah. You get a good. Hopefully it is in focus. Um, I'll put some better pictures of it. But it's that you know dive knife. That's pretty neat. It's all the way down here by his leg. Um, He's got his, uh, his little mask that goes on his head. Yeah, definitely still brushing sand off of this thing. And the pack is really cool. Um, it has you know, the Cobra eel logo, which is an anchor, a skull, and an eel. So that's, that's pretty cool. I dig it. Let's see. We got them together. And this is really neat because it is, uh, it's pretty true, minus the pack, but it's pretty true to the original uh, Real American Hero uh, line back from when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, so I definitely think this is, uh, this is good. I like it. Uh, I don't know which came out first, whether it was this or Torpedo, but the body itself, uh, most of it, I think, is just a repaint. Um, the mask is different. Uh, I'm not sure if the pack is it. We'll, we'll look at eels, uh, or at, uh, sorry, we'll look at torpedoes pack and see if they are the same, just repaints. But either way, um, I'm pretty happy with how the figure turned out. I dig it. Um, pretty cool. Let's look at some of the accessories. Now, uh, 
when my daughters used to play with the LOL dolls, they would open these uh, little surprise packs and there'd be like some sunglasses or something cheesy in it. Uh, but I see why they did that now, because it's so much fun. It's so much fun to open these little things up. Um, got some, uh, let's see. Got his fins, so that's cool. His fins, uh-oh. Yep. Womp, womp, womp. Look at that. That thing is bent as all get out. Oh my goodness. Now supposedly a little hot water will straighten that out. Um, but that's really unnecessary and called for. Like, what do they do with these things? Like, just shove them in Granny's glove box or something? Like, I don't know. But, but be not dismayed because I designed a spear gun based off of the uh, original spear gun carried by the eel. And I'll post pictures of that. Once that goes live, um, I will uh, post the link up. Um, should be on the website soon. You can go to topfunretrotoys3d.com, uh, sign up for email. Uh, with that email, it's going to be new drops and it's going to be discounts. It's not going to be uh, ridiculous spam or anything like that. It's just going to tell you, hey, we got this weapon series dropping. Right now we have over 100 different models themselves and they're packaged in uh, anywhere from three to five different weapons, depending. We have uh, the AS Val, we've got Steyr Augs, we've got HK G36C and G36K, we've got FALs, we've got the SIG 551, 553 series, uh, we've got AKs, we've got the Vietnam era M16A1s, XM177 uh, Echo 2, uh, M16s with 203s, there's a ton of stuff, I'm adding new ones uh, weekly, typically, uh, we just drop the uh, the Spaz 12 Spaz. I don't know how to pronounce it, like a French shotgun. Anyway, it's the Jurassic Park shotgun. Super cool looking, uh, and that just dropped. Uh, anyway, back to back to the figure. So we got this bent thing, uh, which is really disappointing. That's his. That's his only weapon, right? He's got this and a dive knife. He's got his little beacon reader right there. Huh? Yeah. So it's like a GPS, sonar, radar thing. Let's see how these fins go onto the feet. One of the things that's somewhat disappointing is that all these figures have like a, was it a hexagon peg in the four the hole for a peg to go into a stand, yet Hasbro does not include stands with these figures. Uh, I know Action Force, the Valiverse ones do, um, but it, it's just kind of weird. I guess it's a little loop for his uh, his spear gun there. But that is a bit disappointing that there are no stands. Alright, so as the gun came out, that is pretty... Uh, I mean, the, overall, the figure is awesome. I really like the figure. Um, it's a very faithful... Uh, recreation, yet modern recreation of the Ara, a real American hero uh, figure that we all grew up with. So I really dig it. Um, it's just that spear gun. Come on. I mean, that is like, oh my goodness. That is awful. It is kind of neat though, because it's, it's metallic on the actual spear head, but you would have to I don't know, put this in hot water, maybe iron it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I think he should have, they really could have done a better job with this, because this is, this just sucks. At any rate, check out uh, TopFunRetroToys3D.com to get a, a solid replacement. Yeah, I drink liquid death, because I'm worth it. All right, next up, Torpedo. Um, take a look at the packaging. <laughs> Again, the windowless packaging, but it almost looks like he is on the same carrier facing off with the eel, right? Are you about to fight each other? Um, there's all kinds of speculation. I think that is a sub. It looks like a submarine to me. I was never on a submarine. I was on a ship before. Ugh, never knew that again. Uh, 
but yeah, this is uh, Edward Torpedo Lialoha, so potentially of uh, of Hawaiian descent. And it's interesting because when I was back in a boat company with the Zodiacs, well, three five get some alma mater. Uh, one of our the guys who went through Scout Swimmer, he was like six foot five from Hawaii. Dude was like a fish. Um, so it's interesting that uh, you know they tie that to his, his background, his ethnicity. Now it looks like he comes with the same dive knife and some type of five five six caliber SBR, and uh, perhaps the same very disappointing uh, spear gun. Uh, so let's open this guy up and see what's inside. Do we even need that? Do we need the knife? It looked cool though, right? It looked super cool. Uh, uh, I'm gonna cut myself. Don't do that, John. All right. Let's see here. Out of the box. All right, here we go. There is our dude. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. Now let me check and see. I've got Cobra Eel right over here. And we'll see once we get him out if uh, if this is just a repaint. And again, there's you know nothing really potentially wrong with that. <clears throat> Growing up with the original O-ring G.I. Joes, I don't I think very rarely, unless they were like a Tiger Force version, uh, where those parts you know recycled. They would recycle them for like a different color version, like a different Viper. Um, or Tiger Force Flint, or Tiger Force Force, uh, Tiger Force Outback, or something to that effect. Uh, yeah, they would repaint the the bodies and reuse the uh, you know the the cast. But um, you know most of the characters they were all different legs, different. Certainly the torsos were all different. Uh, yeah. So here's here's the inside of the package. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got his dive kit on. He's ready to get after it. Um, I assume his background is like a Navy SEAL. I haven't, uh, I guess it's a QR code. You can go look at all his stats. But I think it would have been really neat if Hasbro had included maybe a little card insert or even something on the back. Instead, they've got like, this is all the legal stuff they have to have on now. Um, you know, don't give it to a baby. Uh, they'll probably eat it. You know, just all the other legalese uh, nonsense. Um, that's required, so maybe they don't have space for it. But I really, really think it would have been cool if they had um, get some type of card, because I don't necessarily want to, you know, give my kid a phone to go online and, and read this stuff. Um, so I think that's like part of the legend of the figure. Uh, at any rate, I think they missed the mark on that. They really could have done something cool. And on the, uh, the retro carded classified series, they do have that. But for the most part, the majority of the classified series don't. So. Oh, so satisfying. Hear that tear. Okay, that's cool. All right. Neat. Good news is this is not nearly. It's still a little. Still hangs to the to the right a bit, but uh, it's not nearly as bad as. It looks like a take on maybe like a Sig. MCX. I'll post pictures, uh, or at least get this a little bit closer so you can see. Magazine inserted. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Magazines are gonna get lost. I think that's is the same exact same dive knife as um, as the eel, and his sheath is up here. Probably a little more convenient. I can't imagine having to grab something strapped to my ankle, uh, but his is you know sort of at the ready. Uh, and now let's take a look. Let's get his mask situated. I really do. Uh oh. Oh no. Look. So you got got a boogered up nose. It's like uh, got some paint chipped off of it. My understanding is that some of these figures are like a hit and miss in terms of quality control. Um, some people complain about ordering off Amazon and then the uh, the box is showing up, you know, kind of boogered up, not in minty, minty condition. I guess that's a big deal for some people. Uh, for me, it's not. I don't necessarily, you know, the box is probably going to get tossed. Um, not a big deal for me. 
Oh, that's weird. There we go. Okay. Took a little while to get his uh, get his pack situated, but it went on nicely. It fits pretty securely. Okay. Let's just check them flippers out. Now these flippers have a, a red accent, which might have gone better with the eel. I don't know. They both have you know similar black and grayish color schemes with some red accents. So we'll get his. The flippers go on pretty well. Um, you know, a lot of for all the complaining of you know some of these figures not being up to scratch. Yeah, flippers, those flippers go, fins, or they're not flippers, they're fins. I wasn't a scout swimmer, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got a little leg uh, thing. I don't know, but I found that carrying equipment on your legs uh, isn't, uh, it's not conducive to moving at all. When I was a dumb boot, I had uh, my first tour in Iraq, <laughs> I bought this uh, dumb thing that strapped on your thigh held four magazines and I think like after wearing it for a day I was like this is garbage I am getting rid of this it's incredibly painful uh, try running in that like not gonna happen dude so I guess like I do even though these are action figures in a fantasy land I don't like to suspend my sense of uh, suspense of disbelief I kind of like them realistic uh, we'll talk about some of the Valiverse uh, figures on a different episode but overall I dig this this is cool I really like the fact that he comes with an additional weapon right he's not relying on his spear gun alone to uh, defend himself or engage the enemy or whatever and it would have been neat on the uh, the cobra eel to have I assume he's like you know using He's a maritime insertion dive platform, like he's probably going to do some kind of sabotage type stuff. Um, we'll show him off there. Looking sharp. Now there's nothing on the back. It kind of might have been cool to see a, a trident or something that resembled a trident without violating, uh, you know, whatever licensing. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining that the, uh, the old school Aura uh, gung hose have an EGA that you can glue up an anchor, uh, but the Marine Corps uh, licensed or requires a license to use that, um, and that's in fairly recent years, like maybe last like 10, 15 years, so maybe not that recent, but more recent than the 1980s. So let's look at these guys side by side, and their packs are definitely the same, with the exception of Eel has, you know, these little some type of propulsion system that's going to help him go faster in the water uh, and you can see where that would just clip on um, on the underside of the pack but yeah same uh, same pack a different color scheme for torpedo and side by side they look pretty cool uh, I don't think these are 100% these are not 100% repaints um, their back thigh, they're different. See? Right? Okay. So I just noticed that because they were you know, facing me. Uh, not 100% repaint. Uh, the belts are different. So if you look at the belts, those are different as well. Um, the little doohickeys, I think that's the technical term, doohickey. Sonar, GPS, rangefinder things on the, on the arms are different. Uh, an eel sort of has this interesting armor thing, whereas torpedo does not. And on the front, you know, eel has his little eel shoulder collar thing. Um, now the actual torso itself might be a repaint. They look pretty similar in terms of the uh, the lines on the wetsuit, but it's not a hundred percent just repaint. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, they did change some details now the fins are, are just painted there's nothing different um, about those or the dive knife in fact let's see here now the dive knife so uh, I think that uh, eels is a slightly darker shade of an almost a maroon vice a red but the knives are the same 
Um, packs are the same, but overall, I think these are, these are awesome characters, awesome figures. Very happy with both of them. Uh, I dig them. Don't quit your day job. All right, next up to bat is Shipwreck. I, I love the expression on Shipwreck's face here. I wish that he came with that head, like with that expression. Like maybe have his solemn, you know, salty sea sailor, Navy chief expression. But I really like the like, ah! <laughs> it looks like that bird bit his ear or something. Um, I really like that. But here, here is a, a much, uh, a little bit clearer view of that. I think that's, that's hilarious. Maybe someone should design a head, a replacement head, with that expression. Maybe I'll get on it. Who knows? All right, so he comes with, uh, it looks like his Salty Sea Sailor uh, musket or flintlock. I don't know why you'd have that in modern military. Some type of modern pistol, uh, his Salty Sea Sailor hat, um, some additional Navy regulation hair, his parrot, a rope, and a grappling hook. Um, there's the back. Again, I just dig that, that expression. I don't know why. Oh yeah, and he's also on, there's some IBCMs, ICBMs, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, launching in the background. And there's also a bike. This looks like a submarine with a bike. Hmm, can't figure that one out. All right, let's get in here without cutting myself. It's so much fun opening toys. It's like Christmas every day. And I've seen on some of the Facebook groups, some of the people posting uh, the action figures that they uh, they got. There he is. Uh, the beard was like painted weird. The eyebrow was off. But looking at it right now, it looks okay. There is something weird with the chest hair. But... Yeah, I don't know about that windowless packaging. I really like the idea of being able to see not just a digital depiction of what I'm buying, but the figure itself. I um, don't know why Hasbro went to that. If you think about it, this is plastic, right? And if they're trying to save plastic, well, think about how many of these figures go through quality control and fail, uh, or overages from pouring the plastic, and they discard that, but they're going to save the planet by not having a clear window. I don't know if it's pandering or what, um, but I think it's, I don't, I don't think anybody likes the windowless packaging. Uh, so there it is, same expression. And there's our figure. The chest hair is a bit odd. It's like he shaved it around uh, where the, uh, the neckline of his shirt comes up, but uh, I guess it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's see what his accessories look like here. I need to get a stand. There we go. Stay there, buddy. Don't get scurvy and fall over. I mean, people were complaining. What do you mean, you people? Salty sea sailors, that's who. All right, we got our bag of goodies. What is in our bag? All right. Oh, the parrot has a peg leg. Interesting. Does that go on his shoulder or what? I don't know. But he's got it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So Parrot goes onto the rope. Right there. Am I missing a grappling hook? Let's see here. Here's his musket. It appears to be, yeah, it's a, it is a double barrel flintlock style. Um, and this is going to go it's the like least tactical or the, the least practical way of carrying the least practical weapon whatever uh, and then he's got uh, boy this is actually this is really cool um, and the pistol itself is kind of weird looking but it has this really neat hope that didn't go out of focus if not I will put up a static image of it uh, but it has uh, an anchor on it. You know, it appears to have some kind of uh, uh, engraving in the pistol. But yeah, it's kind of—I can't really tell what this is kind of pistol is supposed to be. 
maybe an M9 uh, with a weird long barrel. How uh, about that? Let's put it in his hands. Alright, there he goes. He's got his pistol. He's got his sailor hat. There's his little his Navy Chief insignia. He's got uh, some salty sea sailor tattoos. He's got his dungarees, black boots, and I, <laughs> and we'll you see in the uh, it was usually the first iteration of the classified series. They all had these weird shin guards, like they're gonna play intramural soccer or something. Uh, at least with this, it, this is like how you would wear your like real pants. Like no one wears shin guards. I don't know if Hasbro is going for like a uh, sci-fi type thing. They all had this sort of weird armor that was just impractical, like armor in impractical places. Like, no, who wears shin guards? Like, unless you're going to play soccer. Okay, so that's cool. A little bird goes on there. A little parrot. Oh, and we are not missing. Our grappling hook. We've got our trusty grappling hook right here. Let's put it on his belt. So Super Seven, uh, they've they've been coming out with uh, for some time now. Uh, three in three quarters uh, line of figures, and their shipwreck was pretty cool. It came with a parrot. Came with a grappling hook. Came with the uh, you know the weird musket thing. Uh, or flintlock pistol, but yeah, there we go. That's pretty neat. Oh, I do see a defect. The painting on the arm right here uh, goes well over his sleeve and onto what should be oh, lost the parrot. What should be his flesh. So that's that's a bit, I guess, disappointing. The other one's fine, um, but you would think. For the $25 these retail for, there might be a little bit better uh, quality control. Let's see if we can put it, put the parrot over here. Does that work? Is it supposed to go cross body, perhaps? Like, cross body? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. We'll just put the old parrot back like this, get your hook down there, alright, we see him alright, hopefully we see him good, if not, I'll post a static image, but there we go, our salty sea sailor, overall, I dig it, it's pretty cool, pretty cool character, I like how he has, you know, some type of, <laughs> what does it look like a duty belt, like the old school, uh, you know, cartridge belt, but it works. It works for the character. Uh, it is faithful you know, to the original. Let's try the... Uh, oh, oh man. That looks weird. Let's try the uh, Liberty Port hair here. Ah, I dig it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm wearing an eye patch. Ugh. R mateys, climb aboard me pirate ship. That's stupid. <sighs> I feel stupid. <laughs> really, really stupid. Beetlejuice shirt. Sword. 